Hello everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I have purchased so far during the Sephora Savings Event. I have partnered with Sephora to let you know that the Sephora Savings Event is winding down. It's almost over. You just have a couple more days to get either 20% off, 15% off, or 10% off your Sephora purchase. Just a reminder, you do have to be signed up for the Sephora Beauty Insider program in order to receive these discounts. And while I think most of you know this by now, there are three different tiers within the Beauty Insider program. So until April 15th, insiders will receive 10% off their purchase, VIB will receive 15% off, and Rouge receives 20% off. All tier levels have access to the Sephora collection discount, which is 30% off. You can either mention the Sephora Savings Event at checkout or use the code YAYSAVE when placing an order online. The Sephora Savings Event is when I personally try to either stock up on some of my everyday staple products. And like many people, I use this as an opportunity to purchase those perhaps higher ticket items that I've been holding off on or even some new products that have been on my radar. I have personally shopped the Sephora Savings Event in every way possible. Meaning my first order was buy online, pick up in store. My online order is on the way. I just ordered, what was it? The Pat McGrath Blurring Under Eye Powder in pink that just came out. And then I also decided to pick up one of the new Too Faced eyeshadow palettes, mini eyeshadow palettes. All right, let's go through this bag. First up is the Kerastase Masquintense Riche hair mask. I probably just butchered that pronunciation. I apologize. I have really been into hair masks lately. I have been using hair masks in place of a regular conditioner for the last couple of months now. I live in a very, very dry climate. And as I'm getting older, I'm definitely noticing a change in the texture of my hair. So I try to keep it extremely hydrated, as smooth as possible. And even though I do have a couple of hair masks that I really like, I think they're excellent, I wanted to try one that I hadn't tried before, and this Kerastase mask had excellent reviews. I used it this morning, again, in place of my conditioner. I just washed my hair, put this in, combed it through, left it on for about five minutes, and then rinsed it out. And the reviews were 100% spot on. This mask made my hair feel so soft and silky. It's shiny. My hair was easy to blow dry. So, so far, so good with this. And then I also used on my face today a blush that I picked up. I actually purchased two of the newly reformulated NARS powder blushes. I have been using these blushes for years, the original formula, and now they have been, as I said, reformulated. So of course I had to try at least one. It says here that NARS Iconic Blush has been newly reimagined in an upgraded formula that lasts for up to 16 hours. So the first shade I got and the one I'm wearing today is called Behave. This is a matte, neutral, rosy beige or rosy brown. This is the perfect shade of blush when you want something just really natural and kind of low key. You're not going for a real blushy look like a baby doll pink. This shade will go with any makeup look, but especially if you're perhaps going more dramatic with your eyes or with your lips and you just want something very, very subtle on the cheeks, this is the perfect shade for that. And then I also got Orgasm Edge. From what I understand about this shade, it is the iconic best-selling NARS Orgasm Blush, but without any shimmer. NARS obviously heard what I have been hearing for many years now, that some people would really, really love to have that shade minus any sparkle or shimmer. So now we have Orgasm Edge. And then the third blush I purchased, no, I have two more blushes. One of them is from Sephora Collection. I cannot resist Sephora Collection blushes. They are so good. I have so many of them, but I did not have this pretty popular shade called Flirt It Up. Flirt It Up is described as an intense strawberry. And even without the 30% off during the Sephora savings event, this blush is regularly $14, which I personally think is a great price, especially for 
the quality. And then I also picked up another Sephora collection product. This is the Total Coverage Angled Sponge. This has such fantastic reviews, I could not resist. Most of you know how much I like my medium to full coverage foundation, and I'm always testing out different methods of foundation application, be it a brush technique or sponge technique. I love to try out different methods, so I'm really looking forward to testing this out. Oh, also on my face, on top of the NARS Behave blush, is one of the new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Luminous Powder blushes. I purchased the shade Hope, but now that I've been seeing other people's hauls, I think I'm going to order at least one more. I kind of want cheer and happy. Now this can be used on its own, but I happen to really like it as a topper. I love how it instantly brings out my cheekbones. That little hint of pink is so pretty. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a couple more of these. The next product is a repurchase. This is the Fenty Beauty Invisimat Universal Pressed Powder. If you are an oily girl like me, if you have oily skin, you need this powder. It instantly mattifies. It gives your skin a very soft focused effect, almost like a filtered effect. If I remember correctly, when Rihanna used this during the Super Bowl halftime show, what was it, last year? She stopped in the middle of her performance, someone handed her this compact, and she touched up her shine. And as suspected, sales went through the roof after that. However, it has been on my radar ever since it came out. And basically every time the Sephora Savings event comes around, I repurchase. So let's go through all of the lip products I purchased. I got two of the new YSL Love Shine lipsticks. I think it was last month I uploaded a video and I spoke about how much I love the YSL, or loved because they're discontinued now, the Rouge Volupte Shine lipsticks. At the time that I recorded that video, I had no idea that they were being discontinued and then reformulated. Otherwise, I probably would never have put them in a video because almost all of the shades now in that formula are no longer available. And this is the new formula, the Love Shine Lip Oil. It is a lip oil in lipstick form. Nude Lingerie is the one I'm currently wearing. And the color and the formula are so good. Everything that's on my face will be listed and linked down below in the description box. But again, this is 150. I have not tried Rosewood Blush yet. I have a feeling I'm going to want these in like three or four more colors. And then you guys know what a Charlotte Tilbury lover I am. I had to pick up one of the Big Lip Plump Gasm Glosses. In Pillow Talk, this is the Fair Medium shade. And look at this packaging. Oh my gosh, this might be my favorite packaging ever. Ooh, ooh, this color is beautiful. And it says here that Plump Gasm uses heat and ice technology plus hyaluronic acid plus collagenier. In my Sephora Savings Event Recommendations video, I did talk about these Armani Beauty Lip Power lipsticks. I have, I think, five shades and they are all swatched in that video. I have been wanting this shade 111 for a while even though it looks like so many other lipsticks I have, so many other shades I already have, but there's just something about this formula that I love. It is one of the most comfortable long wearing lipsticks I have ever used. I think this will look gorgeous on its own or with a gloss on top. And I also really like the applicator of this, the kind of teardrop shape that it has, because you can get up right to the edges of your lips. And yeah, I just cannot say enough good things about this Lip Power formula. And then I also ordered one of the new Giorgio Armani Prisma Glass High Shine Hydrating Oil Infused Lip Glosses. Oh my goodness. Is this gorgeous or what? It looks like a cherry popsicle. I mean, it is called Cherry Glaze, so that makes sense, but ooh, it looks so pretty. I think I may have an obsession with lip oils. This color is so good. I know you're probably thinking, Risa, are you getting excited over a sheer gloss with a little tint of cherry red? Yes, yes I am, and I'm not ashamed. I picked up the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the shade Pink Sugar. 
and I ordered this without realizing that I already have it. I am fairly certain that I picked this up the second it launched because I had heard such amazing things about these Summer Fridays lip butter balms, like how hydrating they are, how comfortable they are on the lips, the shine, and then the color is just so, so pretty. Several of my viewers have been asking me to try one of the new Westman Atelier Lip Suede Matte Lipsticks. I picked up the shade Lacquer, which is a little bit different for me. It's kind of like a vibrant peach, and the way this feels, just being swatched, it is like suede. And I just apply it to my hand, it feels so soft and creamy. I am so happy that matte lipsticks are no longer what they used to be. In the past, matte lipsticks have always just been uncomfortable because they're so drying, they make your lips look dry, and nowadays these formulas are just a million times better. And this packaging, incredible, as it should be for a $50 lipstick. All right, what's next? The K18 Air Wash Dry Shampoo. I can't remember who it was that recently demoed this product, but I was immediately sold. This made her hair go from greasy to looking freshly washed in a matter of minutes. Obviously, I can't test it out today because as I told you, I did wash my hair this morning, but I cannot wait to try this and report back. I also got the Patrick Ta Body Brush. I have this body balm that I love for when I go on vacation or whenever I'm showing my legs or my shoulders. And I just really wanted this body brush. It was sold out for a while. Look at this brush, it's so cute. Oh, I can't wait to use it with my um, body bronzer. What is it called? I should have brought it in here with me. It's called Major Glow Balm, and the one I have is She's On Vacation. I purchased another one of my favorite sunscreens. This is the Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. It has a broad spectrum SPF 36. This is it, my friends. If you have oily skin, or if you have trouble finding an SPF that works beautifully under makeup, doesn't have a white cast, doesn't get into your eyes if you get all sweaty, this is it. It is so good. I have gone through so many bottles of this. I will always, always repurchase it. Next up is the Natasha Denona Hyper Natural Face Palette. I really tried to not succumb to all of the hype around this face palette, but clearly I failed. Everyone who talks about this palette seems to really, really love it. And it is even prettier in person. This is my first time seeing it in person, and wow, this is gorgeous. It is the perfect size palette, in my opinion. I love that it comes with a mirror. I do do a lot of traveling, so this is going to be just so practical for me. As you can see, you get five eyeshadows, a bronzer slash contour powder, and a blush. You know what I think I'm going to do with this? I think I may record maybe a YouTube short. I know a lot of other content creators uploaded full videos dedicated to this palette, but I think I'm just gonna show you how I use it in, yeah, maybe a YouTube short. Honestly, I cannot wait. This shimmery shade is calling my name. Okay, I can't believe I'm down to the last three products. I don't know if you noticed, well, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, you would not have noticed this, but if you are a regular or semi-regular viewer of my channel, you may have noticed that my hair is a little bit darker. I went to the salon about two weeks ago and had my hairstylist go a little bit darker with my root color, as well as add some low lights. Here's a photo of how it looked right after it was done. You can definitely see that it's a little bit darker, more golden. Anyway, my point is I have had to change brow pencils. Just when I found the perfect, perfect blonde eyebrow pencil in the Patrick Ta blonde shade, I needed something a little bit warmer and a little bit darker. And I happen to have in my brow pencil stash, a mini version of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Caramel. So after I had my hair done and I was going through my drawer of brow pencils, I thought, hmm, Caramel, this might work. And it does. It is perfect if your hair is more golden, warm toned, yet still blonde. Caramel is the shade. So I did end up buying 
a full size. And the last two products I am so, so excited to try. I have heard so many good things about the new Urban Decay Face Bond Waterproof Foundation that has up to 24 hour wear, contains 3% niacinamide, and can't feel it coverage. It claims to be a self-setting foundation that is water, sweat, and humidity proof. I purchased shade 16, light, medium, cool. I'm not gonna lie, it does look tiny, but it is one fluid ounce, which is typical of most foundations. I do really, really like this packaging. This is great for travel. I like the little squeeze tip. And then Laura Mercier just came out with the translucent press setting powder, Ultra Blur Formula. This is a talc-free pressed powder. It says here that it offers light coverage, delivers up to 16 hours of comfortable wear and shine absorption. So I am all about that. So how many products is that? 21 with at least one more product on the way. Not to mention, I am recording this a few days before it's going live on my channel. So there is still time for me to place more orders as I continue to watch these recommendations videos and these haul videos. What can I say aside from I am so thankful for the fact that buying makeup and reviewing makeup and testing makeup is my job. And I owe it all to you guys, my wonderful Risa Does Makeup family. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Without you, I would not have these opportunities to partner with Sephora, a retailer that I shop with probably every week. So yeah, I am so grateful. As I mentioned during the intro of the video, all of the information you need regarding the Sephora Savings event will be down in the description box of this video, as well as a link to sign up to become a beauty insider. If you are not signed up already, you're definitely going to want to do that. All of the products mentioned will be listed and linked as well as the shade names. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And you may want to hit that notification bell so that you will hopefully be notified when I upload my next video, which is either going to be a Sephora haul try on or testing hot new makeup. By the way, you can also find me over on Instagram and TikTok under the same username, Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.